What's up everybody, I'm Tom Christensen and this is the GameZebo Gazette, a weekly roundup of the hottest news from the past week. As always, you can visit GameZebo.com every day for the latest industry news. You can find links to all of the articles discussed on today's show in the video description below. Let's jump right into things and talk about Neil Gaiman's new game, Wayward Manor. Well, it's not really Neil Gaiman's game, but he did write out the game's story and do some voice acting. The game itself was developed by The Odd Gentleman, whose first game, The Misadventures of P.B. Winterbottom, was pretty well received. Wayward Manor is a puzzle adventure game where players play as the haunted house, attempting to scare out the occupants. The game released earlier this week and you can catch our review linked below. A few weeks ago, you'll remember we talked about Dino Hunter Deadly Shores, an upcoming free mobile game from the team that handles the Deer Hunter games. Well, it's out now and we reviewed it. Is it the authentic dinosaur hunting experience we've all been looking for? No, it's not. But it never tried to be either. It's always been a silly, flashy, shooter RPG at a T-Rex kind of game. The real question is, is it fun? We answer that question and many more in our review. Hey, I've got some deals for ya. Okay, well technically only one of them is a deal, but the other is a contest. Well, what kind of contest, Tom? It's a contest where you could win a PlayStation 4. All you gotta do is enter, and that's it. Just click the link in the video description below for more info and to enter. The actual deal comes in the form of a Loot Crate three month subscription discount. If you're not familiar with Loot Crate, it's basically a box of nerd goodies that's delivered to your front door every month. Check out the link discount page for all the details. Well, this is cool. It's an augmented reality game that lets players train and fly dragons all around their neighborhood. It's called Dragon Adventure World Explorer, which makes it sound like the lamest game ever, but the tech behind the game is pretty neat. It combines data from here maps, no, not Google Maps, I'll explain that in a second, Foursquare, and the Weather Channel to provide players a location-based setting to play around with their dragons in. That sounds cool, Tom, but why not Google Maps? Well, because it's Microsoft and they don't want to use anything Google because Dragon Adventure World Explorer is a Windows Phone 8 game. So for those nine of you who own a Windows Phone, let me know how it is. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's show. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed it over the weekend, I played Fight the Dragon, where I did indeed fight a dragon. But there is way more to fight the dragon than fighting a dragon, so check out the video. Once again, I'm Tom Christensen.